Kathy Bodine, a former Weather Underground radical who served more than two decades behind bars for her role in a fatal 1981 armor truck robbery and spent the latter part of her life helping people who had been imprisoned, has died at age 78, according to her family. Bodine, who lived in New York City, died of cancer Sunday surrounded by family, including her life partner David Gilbert, who was released from prison last year for his own role in the infamous Brinks armor truck robbery. Bodine had expressed remorse for the robbery, in which a guard and two police officers were killed north of New York City. Behind bars, the former 60s radical was described as a model prisoner. She was released on parole in 2003, a move that infuriated some relatives and friends of the three men slain in the botched Brinks robbery. Bodine kept a low profile after her release and continued to work on behalf of inmates and former inmates. Her son with Gilbert, Chaza Bodine, said his mother devoted herself to others well after her cancer diagnosis in 2015. She, as a mother, offered not only unconditional love and pride, but also a model of how to live redemption and own responsibility for horrific mistakes without allowing them to end. Kathy Bodine was the daughter of civil rights attorney Leonard Bodine and became a radical activist in the 1960s, joining the Weather Underground. The group helped define the radical anti-Vietnam War movement with its violent protests and bombings. Bodine was once seen fleeing naked from a 1970 explosion of a Greenwich Village townhouse police said was used by radicals as a bomb factory. She and Gilbert joined members of the Black Liberation Army in the October 20, 1981, robbery, stealing $1.6 million in cash from an armored car outside the Nanuit Mall near the Hudson River community of Nyack. Brinks guard Peter Page was killed in the robbery and two police officers, Sergeant Edward O'Grady and Officer Waverly Brown were killed when a getaway truck was stopped at a roadblock and gunmen burst from the back with weapons firing. Bodine, who had been in the truck's passenger seat, was apprehended as she fled. She pleaded guilty in 1984 to murder and robbery, while maintaining that her role in the crimes was limited and that she was unarmed. I feel terrible about the lives that were lost as a result of this incident, Bodine said in court, standing next to her father. I have led a life committed to political principles. I believe I can be true to these principles in various ways without engaging in violent acts. She was sentenced to 20 years to life. In prison, she developed a program on parenting behind bars and helped write a handbook for inmates whose children are in foster care. She earned a master's degree and worked to help inmates with AIDS.